WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 322. NASDAQ off 311. S&P is down 51. We take a look at this uh, percentage-wise. What you have out here, folks, is that you had the Dow Industrials trading down uh, one point, uh, no, actually nine tenths of one percent. Uh, NASDAQ down 2.14. S&P is up 1.23. Gold, gold contract up $10.70, trading out at uh, 1780, 1769. Gold broke its downtrend last week, wants higher price. Silver up 14 cents, 22 dollars 68 cents. Light sweet crude, what a, what a, the light sweet crude is amazing, folks. Up a buck 68, trading 77.56. We're in inflation, man. And these numbers are inflated. Um, and what does it mean? It means we're all going to be paying higher price. And I don't go for this deal that, um, you know, the bottom line is going to back down. It's transitory. Um, yeah, we're, we're at higher price. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down five ticks, trading 132 flat. The 30-year off 11 at 160 flat. And King Dollar. King Dollar down 246 ticks, trading 93,789. King Dollar does look like it's going to get back inside its lower range. And if that's what you get, Hold on for the ride inside the commodity markets, folks, because um, if this fails, you're going to see the dollar make its way to the lower end of the consolidation, which is the 89,500 mark, and that would be a monster move. Easy to make sense, though, because the bottom line, the euro had got killed. The, the yen had got, well, the euro got uh, weaker against the U.S. dollar. The pound got weaker against the U.S. dollar. The yen got weaker against the U.S. dollar. And the bottom line, those have all reversed also. So now they're looking to all get stronger against the U.S. dollar. And if that's what we get, that U.S. dollar will get under uh, this breakout area, which is the 93,450 uh, area. That's only 300 ticks down, and we're down 248 today. Uh, we get in, let's go look at the NDX 100 first. My take is that we're going to get bounced out of here. Uh, if you've been listening to the show, we'll see how this shakes out. We made the, your price projection of 352, the ABC down. Your benchmark was 352.04. Um, we closed at 352.69 after trading to 350.32. So I suspect we're going to bounce out of here. That being said, you can see that we have 73 million shares today versus the high volume low of 64. So now you have another high volume low. More than likely, you're going to do a B to a C of another ABC structure on the way down. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off. 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.